Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following first our channel na napunta rito at then join sa devotional premiere natin. Shout out to God bless to IB Vlog, Francis Laiko, uh, Yans TV, SSC TV, of Korea, Juna Salondaga, Heart Ponsalan, Retro Vlog, Connie Vlog, Connie Love, Michael Aborita, Mabil Dukusin, Nimpa Amutin, Grits Figueroa, 24-7, Ping Bertolpo, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Heidi Leones, Sharel Channel, Margie Cayano, Yurika de la Cruz, Jamaica Rimulta, and even to those who did not join us during the premiere but still, nagpunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. TV Guys, days more to go. December na naman. No? Malapit na naman yung past. Ang bilis ng panahon talaga. No? Grabe. Excited ba kayo na, na ano, malapit na yung December? No? Well, of course, as part of our culture, everybody's happy to celebrate Christmas. The Nativity of Christ. Kaya, let's enjoy. Let's start. Uh, our joy, have you enjoyed today? And Till Christmas Day and so on and so forth. No, kasi for me, every day is Christmas. I guess let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open the Bible to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 10 to 17. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the word is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, so the word I'm reading is about Paul's charge to Timothy. So 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 10 to 17 says, you, however, know all about my teaching, my way of life, my purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecution, suffering, what kind of things happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, the persecution I endured, yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, while evil men and impostors will go on from but to worst, deceiving and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you learn it, and how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All Scriptures is God's breath and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Amen and Amen. <clears throat> Alright guys, let's now pray. Lord Paul being with Timothy, ni remind niya si Timothy kung ano yung nangyari sa kanya o God na napakarami o God. Sabi niya, uh, kung ano yung purpose sa life niya. No? Yung faith, patience, love, endurance, persecution, suffering. At alam ni Paul na sinabi niya kay Timothy kung ano yung mga nangyayari sa kanya because of Paul's service to God. Lord, Timothy grew up in faith because of Paul kasi na-disciple siya ni Paul. Thank you, dear God, na sinabi niya rin kay sa Paul as a reminder na sa amin niya, all scriptures is God's spread and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Lord, help us to understand the lesson you're going to give us this evening na may matutunan kami. We will enjoy the night sleeping with a good night rest. So we could gain strength for tomorrow's activity. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the presence of each one na pinadala mo. Thank you for their faithfulness in joining the devotional every night. God bless them. 
Bless them, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So the focus verse we have for this evening, guys, is found in Psalms 119, 11, and it says, I have hidden your words in my heart that I might not sin against you. So the title of the devotion for this evening, guys, is Sharing Hope. As Emma shared how God helped her embrace her identity as his beloved child, she weaved weave scriptures into our conversation. I could barely figure out where the high school students stopped speaking her words and began quoting the words of God. When I commended her for being like a walking Bible, her bro period, she hadn't been intentionally reciting scripture verses. Through daily reading of the Bible, the wisdom found in it had become a part of Emma's everyday vocabulary. She rejoiced in God's constant presence and enjoyed every opportunity he provided to share his truth with others. But Emma isn't the first young person God has used to inspire others to prayerfully read, memorize, and apply scriptures. When the Apostle Paul encouraged Timothy to step into leadership, he demonstrated confidence in this young man in 1 Timothy 4, 11-16. Paul acknowledged that Timothy was rooted in scriptures from infancy. In 2 Timothy 3, 15, like Paul, Timothy faced doubters, steals, both men live as if they believe all scripture was God's spread. The recognized scripture was useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. When we hide God's wisdom in our hearts, his truth and love can pour into our conversation naturally. We can be like walking Bibles, sharing God's eternal hope wherever we go. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, like Emma, ganyan din ang nangyari sa akin na uh, kasi I always read the Bible. Parang uh, everyday talaga makakasir ako ng ano, makakasir ako ng verse in the Bible na Lalo, lalo na sa mga sadyante ko or to ever whom I talk, no? Other than this devotion, of course, I, I share uh, Bible verses. I plant Bible verses to people so this verse will also grow. Kaya guys, uh, maski na si Amen, din niya nga namalaya na iba na pala yung lumalabas sa bibig niya, di ba? Kaya let's uh, read the Bible, guys. I will encourage you to read the Bible para... Iba na yung dealing ng Holy Spirit sa inyo, no? Sa atin. If you keep reading the Bible, the way you live, the way you talk is really different because God is changing you from glory to glory. O, di ba? Kanta yan eh. No? God is changing us from glory to glory. Gaya na nangyari kay Ima. Gaya na nangyari kay Timothy na, na, na disciple ni Paul. Yes, uh, this what we're doing is also aside sa naging para tayo naging church na it becomes a discipleship no sa atin ako yung nagdi disciple sa inyo kasi ako yung nagpi-fed ng words sa inyo but it's up, it's up to you to ano uh, hindi ko kasi masas kung nag-grow kayo or what uh, si Lord ng bahala kaya ang sabi ko share the word of God with the presence of the Holy Spirit and leave the results to God kasi hindi ko kayo ma-follow up no uh, what I can do is just to keep praying for you para mag-grow tayo. So, that's the only thing I can do. Like what Paul did, no? Na-encourage niya si Timothy na magbasa talaga ng Bible. Kaya still, I encourage you to read the Bible. You are my Timothy and I am your Paul. And hoping na we will really grow uh, in God by His grace. I guess na proceed to the two question. How do you hide scriptures in your heart and mind? Yes. When... Uh, Memorizing is number one. Memorizing the verse, no, na, pa, uh, the memory verse. Kaya nga, sorry, memory. No? Kasi para ma-place natin sa heart natin, mapunta sa mind. No? Kaya every time we can share it, then it's good if we can memorize it. Second question, how has God's wisdom helped you share His truth with others? Yes, guys, no, uh, it's not me who is sharing, but it's the Holy Spirit. 
God, just use me to be a mouthpiece in sharing God's word. Sana maging ganyan din kayo. And I know time will come. You will also do what I'm doing. Because kailangan talaga natin yan. Especially if we are in need, particularly sa mga members ng family natin. No? And I know we will become effective share of God's word. Yung prayer natin will also become effective. Kasi nga sabi nga ng verse, no, the prayer of a righteous man avail it much. So, let's become righteous para maging effective yung prayer natin. I guess let's now pray. Father, saturate our heart with your wisdom so we can share you with others naturally and courageously. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's saturate our mind and our heart with God's wisdom. So we'll become effective in sharing God's word. God bless us all, guys, because I know that surely bless us 10 times better. This is again, Richard Rich TV. Kita kita tayo. Kita kita sa muli. Paalam!